Unraveling the mystery. What does Dr. The Books mean? Hello, language enthusiasts. Today, we're diving into the intriguing world of idiomatic expressions. Specifically, we're going to explore the meaning behind the phrase, Dr. The Books. This phrase might conjure up images of someone in a white coat standing in a library, but its meaning is far more complex and interesting. So, let's unravel this mystery together. The phrase, Dr. The Books, doesn't have anything to do with medical professionals or literature. Instead, it's an idiomatic expression used to describe the act of intentionally altering financial records. Usually, this alteration is done for deceitful purposes, such as hiding losses, inflating profits, or evading taxes. The term, doctor, in this context is derived from the notion of altering or fixing something, similar to how a doctor fixes health issues. The books refer to accounting ledgers, where financial transactions are recorded. Historically, tampering with these records was a common way for businesses to present a different financial status from the actual one. Let's put Dr. The Books into some real-life scenarios. 1. A company might doctor the books to appear more profitable to investors. 2. An individual might doctor the books to pay less in taxes. In both cases, the phrase indicates an ethical or illegal manipulation of financial data. It's crucial to understand that Dr. The Books is a negative phrase. If you hear someone saying a business is doctoring the books, it implies misconduct and should be taken seriously. It's not a term used in everyday conversation but is more common in discussions involving finance, business ethics, or legal matters. That wraps up our journey into the phrase, doctor the books. It's fascinating how language can paint such vivid pictures with just a few words, isn't it? Remember, this phrase is all about the alteration of financial records and is usually used in a negative context. I hope this video has been enlightening and adds a new expression to your linguistic toolkit. Keep exploring and unraveling the mysteries of language. Until next time, happy learning!